Hello, and welcome to Quick Charge by Electrek. I'm Mikey G, and it's Monday, March 20th. Tesla is expanding its new sales strategy of using virtual sales advisors with remote test drive locations now coming to Europe. In the summer of 21, we reported that Tesla was implementing this new strategy, which at the time was understood to be moving away from high-rent locations and malls and shopping districts in favor of delivery centers and remote test drives. The company has been gradually implementing this across North America, but has now expanded to Sweden. Now, with the movement across the pond, we anticipate more of this strategy to be implemented in future markets. Tesla has finally started the broad rollout of full self-driving beta version 11. This update is an important step because it combines the highway and city street functions and also includes many new neural networks, as reported by Elon Musk himself. It's been delayed several times, but it finally went to a closed beta release fairly recently and is now being placed in the hands of a wider release, still within the beta program. Tesla software is commonly misrepresented both by media outlets and also the nomenclature from Tesla itself. And despite the name of the system, diligence is required by the driver and always to be in control of the vehicle, at least for the foreseeable future. Well, foreseeable future depending on who you ask. I don't need to tell you about Elon Musk's prescience on the technological future. A new survey of American truck drivers shows that many of them are getting ready to go electric, but the majority of them don't even believe that the Cybertruck is a real truck. Now, American Trucks, the company, is behind the survey, which initially shows that 35% of truck drivers are considering going electric this decade, and most of them in the next five years. Of the truck drivers surveyed, 56% answered no to the question, do you think Tesla's Cybertruck is a real truck? Now, this could be interpreted as either being vaporware in the eyes of the respondent or a design that is not suited for what they believe a truck should look like or accomplish. The survey also includes electric trucks that folks are excited for, which, in descending order, start with the Ford F-150 Lightning, the Cybertruck, the Chevy Silverado, and the Toyota Tacoma coming in fourth, which we actually know very little about that vehicle. Interestingly, the survey does include non-truck drivers as well. If you isolate them, the Tesla Cybertruck is certainly the most anticipated model. This is an interesting find that respondents hold the Cybertruck in fairly high excitement, despite some of them either not believing it'll happen or not appreciating the design. Now, when the truck starts hitting the road, I'm sure that things will become very wild very fast. Kia has unveiled the EV5 SUV concept. The EV6 has been a big hit so far, selling over 80,000 units last year and putting Kia on the map as a legitimate EV contender. The Ionic 5 sibling from Hyundai is also a hot commodity with its futuristic look and toned down sports performance. Kia took it a step further by releasing the EV9 SUV last week, the company's first seven-seater set to become the flagship for the brand. This new concept for the EV5, they have some images that seem pretty far out, shown with hallmark concept features like swivel seats and suicide doors. In the press release, Kia talks about space of coexistence, inventive new ideas, and emotional form language. I don't know about you, but emotional form language is usually at the very top of my list when I go shopping for a car. Getting back to the hard stats, the EV5 will be smaller than the EV9 and ride on the same 800-volt eGMP platform as other Hyundai and Kia models. Kia will release the production model of the EV5 later this year, first in China, and then with plans to expand to the global market in due course. This week's episode is sponsored by SAE International, hosts of the WCX World Congress Experience event. For 2023, WCX is set to return to Detroit from April 18th to 20th at Huntington Place. As the largest technical mobility event in North America, WCX brings together thousands of engineers, suppliers, and mobility professionals to exchange ideas, discuss today's challenges, and build powerful relationships to move your career and the industry forward. Join the global mobility community in the Motor City this April to stay up to date on the latest technological advances, participate in roundtable discussions, and network with the brightest minds in the industry. Gain a competitive advantage and meet the people shaping the future of mobility. 
Visit wcx.sae.org to register now. Hyundai's Ioniq 5 is attracting new buyers that would usually stick with a premium brand. The success has been a surprise to company leaders, such as Michael Cole, the president and CEO of Hyundai Europe, who claims brand loyalty doesn't seem to be as strong in EVs. And you know what? There's reason for the hype. According to a report from Autocar, the Ioniq 5 has been winning over customers from premium brands. However, Hyundai is not alone in winning them over. Tesla, of course, blazed the trail with two models now in the top 10 best-selling cars worldwide. Ford, General Motors, and others have mentioned success stories with buyers converting from gas-powered vehicles onto another brand. And you know what? They're not even alone here in the States. Electric vehicle startups with bold designs and advanced features are winning over customers and stealing share in China, and they're doing so from those premium brands once again. Kia Motors has announced its initial entry into the Chinese market, beginning with the super popular EV6 crossover. This model will be the first Kia electric model to enter the Middle Kingdom. However, the recently unveiled EV5 will be the first to be built over there. Looking ahead, the automaker is aiming to sell 450,000 units annually by 2030, and 40% of them being battery electric. Kia says it is currently working to implement the necessary sales channels, dealerships, and showrooms in China to promote their entry into the EV market. This strategy will include city stores in business districts throughout China, including Beijing, Shanghai, Guangzhou, and Shenzhen. BYD's momentum in global expansion continues to snowball into new markets, including Central Asia, where BYD is launching three models beginning this month. The automaker announced the official launch during BYD and Uzbekistan's new energy vehicle premiere event. BYD says that it will open Pioneer stores across Uzbekistan's capital of Tashkent, beginning in the Sergeli district, followed by a showroom in Oloi. A second Pioneer store is slotted to begin in Yunzuzbod? Yun... Yunz... Yanuzobad in early April. The Chinese automaker is describing its latest market entry as a foundation for an exciting collaborative future. But you want to know what I think? The first thing that comes to my mind for the relations between the two countries is actually the long past. A major route on the Silk Road ran through what is now Uzbekistan, and many kingdoms and caliphates in the area grew to prominence with a mix of culture, trade, and economic enrichment from across the ancient world. I'm sure that's why you came to Quick Charge, too. Buckle up, because Electrex Jameson Dow examines the one-sided rationale behind EVs being targeted for what they're calling life-saving legislation. There was a law that mandated artificial electric vehicle noisemakers to protect the public from quiet vehicles that could come into contact with them, particularly at intersections. Now, there is a call for this. It is reasonable. But also, the law does not require noisemakers or minimum decibel levels for gas-powered vehicles, even if they are equipped with an engine stop-start mechanism or other technology, which makes them even quiet or silent in certain situations. You know, like slowing down for an intersection where people walk. Taking a look around, there is another culprit, a common vehicle type that is 45% more likely to kill pedestrians. It is a misnamed category called the light truck, which includes most SUVs and technically covers the dimensions and weight of a literal tank. The vehicles are more deadly to pedestrians because they are larger, have higher hoods that results in decreased pedestrian visibility for the driver, and also more deadly because of the impact. Although EVs have become more popular in their very small segment, the growth of SUV sales is responsible for killing at least 1,000 pedestrians as of 2019. So if you ask us at Electrek, a noisemaker on an electric vehicle seems reasonable, but let's not forget about the other ways that the public are put at harm by vehicle collisions with pedestrians. In today's community comment found on YouTube, a lot of you enjoyed my outtake in which I forgot the name of the Cadillac Lyric. That was quite real, and also quite rare so I put it in the end of the episode. Normally, my outtakes are just a single word or so, and the reason for that is I'm trying to, sometimes in vain, 
keep my face and head in the same location. Doing so makes it easier for me to edit the episode and attempt to smooth out the continuity errors. I really did forget the name of the lyric, and that's too bad. The car was great, I really liked the quiet ride technology and the creature comforts that were flattering. Cadillac was pleased to announce that they supposedly sold out of that model, however they later admitted to only selling 122 in their first year. And that's marketing spin if I have ever heard it. I think the real reason I forgot about the name of the car was because it's a part of the large crowded group of EV crossover class of 2022. Now, despite the fact that there are so many similar EVs, they're all selling like gangbusters. Just for kicks, in honor of the class of 2022 electric crossovers, join me in the comment section of this video to try and name the up-and-comers with their graduating accolades. I'll go ahead and start out. I say that the Cadillac Lyric is the best-dressed student. The Volkswagen ID.4 is the most improved student, and the Ford Mustang Mach-E as captain of the football team, Kia EV6 as captain of the basketball team. I'll say the Ionic 5 as captain of the debate team, Jaguar I-Pace as the captain of the chess team. The Audi e-tron is on the honors roll, and the Chevy Bolt got the attendance award, because it's not a crossover at all. Finally, the Mazda MX-30 is the class clown. Now let me know what you think of my spontaneous list and tell me your own list. I'll select the best responses and combine them together into a master list. I think this will be a lot of fun. And by the way, I did not include Tesla because they graduated a long time ago. I'd probably put them as valedictorian. That seems right. Thanks for watching Quick Charge by Electrek. I'm Mikey G, and I hope you have a great list.